Hi, what's up? My name is Jack, and today I got kind of a big set of eSkate news here for you. So without wasting any more time, uh, let me go ahead and get into this. First piece of news, this isn't really that new. I mean, if it is new to you, um, you have been needing videos like this because this is, this is kind of old by now. The Atlas Pro has finally released. If you ordered it, your board has probably either already gotten there or is about to get there any day or week now. And last second, uh, XY actually hit us with the Atlas Pro uh, NASA edition. So there's only a hundred of these that exist. Actually, maybe 105, I guess, if you count the review models that they sent out. But I believe there's 100 units that are available to customers that are available. The fact that this is still like an available option on the site, I think means that there still is some available. So if you want this, get it. There's nothing about this board that you can't get on the normal model. It's just this one comes with like the accessories already built on, like the fenders, the handle, and it's white. That's it, it just has cosmetic differences. It's kind of just like a collector's thing. What's really cool about this board is it actually was done as an official collab with NASA. And don't get me wrong, the board is like absolutely beautiful, but I do like to customize my stuff heavily and the fact that I would permanently have like all these NASA logos and stuff all over my board kind of turned me off. And also it's like, I believe 300 more dollars or something, I don't know. It does come with these cool street wheels. The NASA edition is a two-in-one, so it comes with off-road wheels and normal street wheels, which are these beautiful white ones here. But then there's obviously just a standard one. The standard doesn't come with the fenders or any of the extra accessories, but I mean, it's cheaper at least. <laughs> XY actually did a giveaway for this board and they chose i believe two winners to win this board and it was like a series of steps you had to do to enter i entered it of course i didn't win but i did win like a bonus i won first for last place and i got a 300 dollar mystery box which i will be doing a video on whenever i get it but yeah the atlas pro I, I can't wait to get my hands on this. Moving on to Cloudwheel. So Cloudwheel has actually entered the normal longboard scene. Cloudwheel makes really, really good wheels. It's one of my favorite wheel brands, which I know just sounds like I'm jumping on bandwagon, but if you've ridden Cloudwheels, you can't deny how it just changes your life, especially like in the e-skate scene. They are the pneumatics of streetboards. But anyways, they've gone ahead and brought their tech to the normal longboard scene, and they've released these, gotta say, really, really comfy wheels. I do have a video coming out on them soon. They're available in, I believe, two different hardnesses and two different sizes. The bigger size is Lollipop, the smaller size is Macaron. I don't believe they're officially available for purchase yet, but they will be very, very soon. And they've also announced a set of bearings that we'll be releasing with this, if I can find it here. If you wanna go see more in detail what these wheels bring to the scene i will have a link in the description so you can come check out the site and i will also again have a video out on them soon here's the bearings they're going to release some black ceramic bearings and just some normal ones and the price is actually pretty good except i think this price this 50 percent off and 60 percent off might only be available through this indiegogo thing so if you want to seal them at like a good price you probably do want to look into purchasing them asap moving on once again mad eskate so the Mad Wheels. This company has recreated the boosted wheels and have made them available to the public. These wheels are, well not these wheels, but boosted wheels are really hard to get. First of all, boosted is no longer existent. So you can only buy boosted wheels used or at a very, very expensive resale price. But these ones are available at a pretty fair price, I'd say. They're compatible with pretty much any board, except so far, x-way boards which is why i haven't been able to try it yet they come with special pulleys but these pulleys don't fit onto x-way's boards so i am currently trying to find a pulley that fits this wheel and fits x-way's board so uh whenever i figure that out i will have a video on it as well as just having a video out on these wheels soon these wheels are supposedly extremely soft extremely grippy and I mean, if they're as good as people are saying they are, they might become my new favorite street wheel over normal cloud wheels. Moving on to Evolve. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say like right off the back, I don't know much about Evolve, but apparently they are releasing a new version of, I believe their GTR board. They're referring to it as the Stoke Series 2. So I believe this is like maybe a more powerful variant of a board they already have. I do have some notes on it here. So the GTR S2 has bigger motors, so less overheating, and it has an update 
hated ESC. It runs on the Fock ESC like the Hayden with a phase remote. They've really been promoting this board a lot on their Instagram, which is where I came to look at it. The Series 2 board has ports for an EFOC Prism LED strips, oh well. You have thousands of color modes to choose from via the remote or out. That actually is pretty sick. I wish more boards had built-in lights like that. Oh, wow. Well. I apologize if I didn't cover this part accurately or in depth enough, but I will try to find maybe like a blog or something about this and leave a link to it down in the description so you can read more into detail on it yourself. And speaking of things I don't know too much about, one wheel. I've ridden a one wheel before. I think they're really cool, but they're also really scary. They scare the hell out of me. Apparently there was a ghosting issue, which led to several crashes and accidents. So there was a foot pad recall, which fixes whatever pressure issues the board was previously having. I've heard around a grapevine that supposedly, like, some people are still experiencing the issue, but I don't know how accurate that claim is or if it's even true. But if you have one of these, definitely get your foot pad replacement in ASAP. I saw a really good video on this by another YouTuber. I will have a link to his video covering it down in the description if you'd like to watch more about the situation. Okay, now going back into the realm of things I do know about shred lights has released the new slfx plus beta the beta is already sold out i was lucky enough to seal in two of these which uh i got right here it's pretty much the same thing as the old slfx it just has a little bluetooth icon on it these things can sync up together and they can connect to your phone so you can set up all your lighting settings and have them perfectly synced up together so what the beta means is that there still could possibly be some issues with the bluetooth the thing about the beta is if you purchase these while they were in beta you accept the risk of the bluetooth possibly not working anymore at some point in time and it won't be covered under warranty it's kind of like an early access risk i took the risk of course and they were very limited you were only allowed to order two of these at a time and i saw them mention that they were able to sync up i, I think i believe it was 15 of these they said before they started running into issues but they also said it just depends on how much your phone is able to handle so i mean just if you have like a really powerful super phone you should buy a ton of these and show me what you're able to do and I believe that might be all the news we really have for today. If I missed anything big, be sure to comment it so other people can scroll down to the comments and check it out. There is one person that helps me with my news videos, every single video. If you've seen my news videos before, you've already seen this, but eBorder on Instagram, I usually like make a list of topics that I know about. And then I ask him if there's anything I missed because he really has his eyes on the e-skate scene and he kind of just knows like a lot about things going on. So he helped me populate my list with like maybe over half of the things I covered. So I mean, special thanks to him for these news videos even being able to really exist. But with all that said and done, that's gonna be it. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.